Hi there, welcome to the next Premiere Pro tutorial part 4. Today I want to put some keyframes on videos and audio both and make our video more dynamic actually. Let's get right into it. So as you can see we have changed different kinds of aspects in our video. We added some uh, transitions, we added some effects to the text and different kinds of things. So we want to continue. For example, as you can see the transitions like our logo, we gave actually the transition it is like this this is the text for example not the logo when I get back to the beginning of the clip actually when I press the space bottom and see the review of that you can see the text is coming like uh, a kind of slide and even the logo is coming a kind of like a kind of slide as you can see so imagine I want to put a kind of keyframe and I don't want our uh, for example lawyer text or logo uh, comes from out of the video into into the screen so I want to move it in front of the screen I want to move it in the way that I can see that transitions actually move your text move your liar move your uh, photo from out of the video inside it so what i want to do is for example move this crypto studio for example this text from where it is to the top side or right side left side or even i want to bring this small video from top to the down i don't want to bring it from out to inside or i don't want to take it from inside to outside because this is what transitions can easily do that uh, so for that what we should do imagine that i want to push this crypto studio this text that we uh, produced in previous session to the top of the screen for that it's easy you need to first choose that let me choose that this one correctly today this is crypto studio this is our text layer isn't it yes by pressing this i uh, bottom actually you can identify your layers easily when i uh, click them like this when i click this you see that the text layer is gone and when i click this one the logo layer is gone and i will choose that this is my text layer I come uh, to the motion this is where it is supposed to be and I press this button which is toggle animation it is where you can add keyframes for your uh, text for your for everything in Premiere and even in After Effects you can do such a thing so uh, then you press that there will be a kind of small dot if I make it smaller and make it a bit bigger you can see a small dot has come here so this is where that your keyframe starts this is where that uh, crypto studio starts moving and nothing happens until the time that I put another dot or another keyframe and I toggle another animation for this layer actually so if I preview press the uh, preview bottom again it comes up to here for example now from this position up to this position I want to make my crypto studio my text layer dynamic and I push it from down to uh, top actually so I will press the vector and I will push it up so I can place it in here so one thing that you should know if you want to push something from right to left or from down to top it's better to press and keep shift bottom so why should we do that because if I want to push it up and I press shift so it doesn't go right and left you see just it can go higher it can go to the top side or downside without going to the right or left or vice versa I want to go right and left and I press shift so it doesn't go up and down why should we do that because sometimes we don't want to make a mess sometimes we want to uh, go in a correct direction we want to go exactly where we are we don't want to go a bit right or left I want to push it from where I am exactly to the same um, place in the top I don't want to go a bit right or a bit left so I push it a bit up and then I press shift bottom then you see it goes uh, right and left because I didn't uh, push it up so first I push it up and then I press shift then you see it doesn't go right and left Then I bring it here and I leave it so in this case it actually goes up when I come to the beginning of my video imagine that I come here or the beginning of my keyframe where I uh, put that animation or keyframe on my layer which is this and when I press it you see that first my uh, layer is coming like this because we have put a transition in previous session at the beginning of that and when I continue you see that it's going up and stays where this dot finishes you can see these two dots 
are the beginning of my keyframe the beginning of my animation and the second one is the end of that so maybe you ask it yourself this is going so slow so what can I do to make it faster this is easy you need to just push this dot back and make it close to the previous one to the first one and when you see that when it comes it goes faster if you want to make it even faster you can make it smaller I mean this small bar you make it smaller if you make it smaller this space this area becomes bigger and again you can push it uh, as close as possible to that but make sure that it doesn't come on it or it doesn't go behind it when it comes here and I uh, and I when I get back to uh, the beginning of the layer you see that this part is showing you the transition that we have put in previous session the slide that is coming from the left side to the screen and these two small dots are the movements and the animation the keyframes that make our layer make our text layer movable onto the screen it doesn't push it anywhere out of the screen so Let's look at it again. It comes and very fast it goes off. Look at the speed. Very fast. So if you want to make it slower, you can make it far from the previous dot as far as possible. So it will be so slow. Then I press it. You see, it goes very, very slowly to go to the top of the screen and put it there. Our video layer, we can even do the same. Just you need to come to the video layer. You press it and then come to the motion and in here for example after my text layer then my text layer came up i want to bring the next video which is on the corner of my previous video i want to push it down i want to bring it down after uh, the text came up actually so i press the preview button i go a bit forward i started the keyframe the animation here and i want to finish it here for example it means that in here i want to see my video in down part in in the uh, bottom of my screen actually in another pre uh, position actually so <coughs> so i press motion and i do not bring it down like this I want to bring it down then press shift so I want to make sure that no horizontal size changes no horizontal number changes into the uh, settings so I come down and I put it here then uh, I can make it faster or slower this is what can happen or maybe I want to do something I want to make both my liars I mean the video one and the text one move together so I should get back again to the uh, previous liar which is my text liar but I do not change this blue line I will keep it where it is because I want to exactly put the same keyframe as you can see where it is or even I can bring it to the beginning when I want to bring it to the beginning I put it here and then I go to the text liar in text liar I will select both keyframes and I push it exactly under the blue line when I click on my video again I see that where my blue line is the first keyframe is under that and where my text is the first keyframe is exactly under that when I play the video both of them must start working together I mean first the slide comes then when it is going up the second one must come down like this so you see that the first the first layer, I mean my text layer is going up and my video layer is coming down. So if I want to make the speed faster, I should get back to the uh, text layer again. And I do this. Or if you want to uh, actually set the speed of your uh, text layer with that video. So you should come to the video first and you put this blue line on the end of the uh, animation on the second dot actually the second keyframe and get back to the text layer and put that under the blue line so that both uh, layers I mean the video part and the text part be synced together and when I get a bit behind the keyframes and I play that you can see they are working together with the same speed that one goes up and that one comes down so this is what you can do for the video for the audio, for example, I want to bring something like, uh, let me bring this music, for example, to uh, my Premiere folder, I mean the project folder, and I bring it right into the audio section. So, this is actually my audio, this is my video, and this is the audio part. 
Uh, what I want to do is to increase and decrease the music some parts because if I want to play that it will be a very messy uh, formation it will be uh, a mixture of different kinds of sounds so that's not okay imagine that I mute this and this is the music which is so loud first of all I want to um, bring it down this is the lawyer I mean a2 I want to for example reduce the uh, sound to minus 10 for example so when I press it it becomes a bit better and uh, so for increasing and decreasing that I mean putting some key frames on uh, key frames on audio sometimes someone wants to speak on the main video you want to put slide music behind that as a kind of background so Normally, the music should be as low as possible so it can be hearable and give a very nice effect to your video. But sometimes the man or the person who is into the video doesn't want to speak and the speaking actually stops so you want to increase the sound of the music. For that, you should actually make this space bigger by pushing this uh, bar down and come to the music section in place that you can see a big line actually a long line and a big area in this place so for example this is normally what we have this is normally the sound that I have set it by uh, pushing this bar down if I push it down see this line comes down if I push it up the line goes up so normally putting z putting on zero the line comes here which is really high but it's better to put it somehow below this line below here I mean this line should be below here because in this case I can have a, a kind of normalized sound so I push it down like this and I just p play a review to see how it happened okay then so now I want to increase uh, or decrease for example my uh, voice or my audio from here to uh, everywhere that I want for example I press control and I keep it, I keep control bottom and on the line I click left mouse bottom there will be a small blue dot actually on that line and then somewhere like this let me make it a bit longer and then somewhere like here I will put another dot by pressing and keeping the control button and a left mouse bottom actually then you push it up when you push it up uh, the beginning of the music is there as it is as it was before so why because this dot doesn't let the music go up and every uh, other places I mean end of the music goes high because it is all after this dot so when I bring it higher and higher it goes up what happens here here exactly um, our music increases frequently little by little the music volume starts going up from here to here if you want to play that you can say let me bring this down so you can understand and sense it better it? so the music came uh, up actually the volume increased little by little and frequently from here to here so after this period of time with long uh, period for example or a short period it uh, depends on you after this procedure after this period of time so I want to bring again the music down so again you press control you put a dot here and you want to put another dot here so uh, the far you put this dot the procedure becomes longer what procedure the procedure of decreasing the procedure that the music starts to decrease the volume from high to down or vice versa if I want to put this dot for example longer like this if I drag it longer if I drag it longer as you can see this area is becoming longer and longer which means that the music goes up and the volume goes up slightly and slowly if I want to uh, make this procedure fast and if I, if I want to uh, do something that uh, the music volume goes up very faster so all I want to do is to bring this dot down and make this procedure shorter so from here to here the music goes uh, up and the volume increases very fast and in here so you bring it down until for example 
here or here, for example. It depends on you, uh, how you want to set your volume, actually, based on someone speaking, or maybe you want to put it on a, another idea, you want to put it on another music. It can happen in a, any way. It depends on uh, just you and your taste. So if I play the music from here... As you can see, little by little, it is decreasing. And this is the way that you can put some keyframes on your music. So, uh, I think that's it for today. I showed you how to move the objects on your screen. It doesn't matter, even it's a video, even it's a text, even it's a logo. And I show you how to increase the volume and decrease the volume, but not a sudden decrease and a sudden increase because it will be shocking for the videos, especially uh, it gives a kind of dead uh, sense, a kind of dead feeling to the video. And the person who's listening and the person who is looking at the video uh, will be actually shocked by seeing, for example, a very sudden movement in music. So in this way, you can add keyframes for the audio and uh, you can sync the audio actually with the video even or you can sync two video layers to text layers a text layer with a video layer you can make them move together you can make them uh, move actually with the same speed as each other and make your video more dynamic so this is for today i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe my channel and share these videos to those who want to start working with Premiere Pro. And thanks for joining that. Have a good day. See you later.